This is a demonstration video looking at some of the characteristics of argon. Some of those characteristics of argon gas include argon is a gas at normal temperature and pressure. Argon is considered to be an inert gas. It is denser than air, has a lower thermal conductivity than air, is easily ionized, and occupies approximately 0.93% of the volume of atmospheric air. So both these balloons are on identical size. One is full of argon gas, one is full of air. Argon is denser than air, so in theory the argon balloon will fall faster than the air balloon. So I'm going to release them on a count of three. One, two, three. And the argon one does fall faster, as it is denser than air. To investigate the lower thermal conductivity of argon when compared to air, a comparison has been made between cooling a liquid when surrounded by argon and air. In theory, the lower thermal conductivity of argon should result in a slower cooling rate of the liquid when surrounded by argon. The setup has two identical glass containers that are supported above a trough of water. The water is there to provide a gas seal with the surrounding containers that hold the test gas. And the liquid used is warm water. This contains a food dye for visibility. This has been poured into both containers to the same level of water. Temperature is being measured using a thermocouple. This is connected to a computer for display purpose. However, the thermocouple inputs have initially been reversed. We'll quickly fix this. So the liquid surrounded by air is on the right with a temperature of about 68.8 degrees Celsius. The one on the left, we are now filling the container with argon gas. So we open a valve. Argon in. Now we rapidly put the top on and screw the top on to seal the container with argon gas. So it looks like our argon start temperature at 66.6 .6 degrees is a little cooler than the air start temperature. This may be because of the flow rate of argon with inside the container. So if we time lapse the video, we can see that after five minutes, okay, it's caught up a little bit, but the argon's still a little cooler. Now 35 minutes, we can see that eventually now the argon is warmer than the air, so it is cooling at a slower rate, which is what you would expect. And after 60 minutes, yep, we can see that argon is definitely cooling at a slower rate than the air. To show the ease of which argon can be ionized, this plastic bottle initially containing air has two electrical wires where we apply a potential of around 30,000 volts and we have a breakdown of air and an electric arc. If those wires are placed further apart in this picture, there is no electrical discharge as the wires are too far apart at 30,000 volts for air to arc. However, if argon is introduced into the bottle, initially a glow discharge is noticed. Before at higher concentrations of argon, the gas finally breaks down and an arc is formed. Using a dewer of liquid nitrogen, the boiling point of liquid argon can be investigated. The accuracy of the thermocouple system that we're using is not ideal, especially at low temperatures, but hopefully it'll be able to give us a ballpark temperature for the boiling point of liquid argon. Liquid nitrogen has a temperature of approximately minus 196 degrees Celsius, whereas liquid argon should have a boiling point of approximately minus 186 degrees Celsius. This is around 10 degrees C warmer than liquid nitrogen. Therefore, it is possible to use the low temperature of liquid nitrogen to liquefy argon gas. To liquefy argon gas, a glass tube is submerged in liquid nitrogen. The gas tube has a gaseous argon supply, and after a short while, a liquid is formed within the glass tube. After removing the tube containing the liquefied argon, we can see this is a colorless liquid. We insert our thermocouple into the tube 
and we have a measured temperature of minus 187 degrees Celsius, which is very close to the predicted minus 186 degrees Celsius. Just to check, we put our thermocarbon in the liquid nitrogen and we're minus 195 degrees Celsius. We probably have a little bit of inaccuracy with our thermocouple setup. However, we can see that liquid argon is a little bit warmer by approximately 10 degrees Celsius than liquid nitrogen. The inert properties of argon make this element an ideal choice as a backfill gas for use with tungsten filament light bulbs. These bulbs are filled with a partial pressure of argon this helps to reduce evaporation and burn out of the tungsten filament. We can show the presence of argon replacing a light bulb in a dew of liquid nitrogen to liquefy the argon contained within the bulb. And after a short while, you can see a small drop of liquid argon within the glass bulb. And as always, Please subscribe and thank you for watching.